Close the ring. Oh, just from the little side <laughs> set. Close the ring. We've got to achieve 500 calories. I burnt today. It's got rid of me pasty out earlier. <laughs> Is it your lobes are pointing at two o'clock and ten o'clock again? Which they bloody ruddy are. So let's get feeling some valves. <laughs> Honestly. It's Ben and Chris here, Carving a Card Aries, and welcome back to another unusual, Exciting video. unusual nah. video. We're doing valve clearances. We're doing valve on clearances. the S2K. Never done it before. I did it college, back in like 1964. <laughs> <laughs> Was it college? Oh yeah, it would have been, wouldn't it? Yeah. When would that have been? Two high school. Two thousands. Yeah, two thousand and. Oh, I don't know. Three. I want to say? Really? I wasn't even born then. I'd say 2002, 2003. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make myself to be younger than what I actually am. Yeah, what, 19? Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, yeah we're going to do valve clearances. Pass, I could pass for 19, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anything you pass for is fucking Uncle Fester. What the fuck, mate? So, hi, welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed and you just joined, then hit subscribe, do it. Yes. Amazing. Welcome. Welcome. We're getting a few more S2K, S2Kers. Are we? Joining. Slowly bringing them over eventually. I'm slowly reeling them in with my charm. It's no charm, man. It's just weirdness. Well, we've done all this already. Because we just couldn't be bothered, could we? Just no, we thought we'd camera. get all set up. It's ready pretty straightforward, really. You've got your. I'll we'll show you a little. We'll give you a little rundown. We've got pipes there to take off. Clip there to take off. <laughs> that pipe there to take off. Obviously, you take off your spark plug cover, which is that, which is just four bolts. Uh, then you take your coil packs out, you unclip them, and you lift it off, mate. It's that simple, isn't it? We took the air box out as well, because it just makes it easier to get to that bottom pulley, which obviously you have to turn in order to get your engine to top dead centre. Which is these two little marks here. Yeah, someone's here. put your light on, Chrissy. That's right, mate. <laughs> Someone's put little, there is two very small lines there and there, but someone's very kindly put some white marks there, so it makes it even easier for us. Factory, mate. I reckon, yeah. I don't know, maybe. Well, they the Who knows? They the Who knows? Chain, so yeah, obviously you've got your four cylinders. One, two, three, four. There's a certain order you've got to do it in, which we will run through with you because we're kind of new to this ourselves like i said it's been a long time since i've done this and it wasn't obviously on one of these engines <laughs> but i've got to say this is not like being like rude to anybody in any way if you haven't got the right stuff to do it and yeah a no, bit of the confidence of doing it exactly i know a lot of you peeps watch our videos and we do little bits of odds you can never go doing yourself if you don't feel 100 percent confident oh in doing this don't do it it's peeing it though no well so, the only tools you really need is a socket set uh, you don't have to get one of these doofers, but they're super, super handy if you do, obviously, because it's just a screwdriver inside a 10 mil socket and it allows you to tighten the nut on the valve and open and close it and then re-tighten it back up so you're not yeah. banging around with... It's quite a nifty little tool. You can just use a, a spanner and a screwdriver, but it just makes it a lot more precise and you probably get it done a lot quicker. You're also going to need some feeder gauges which are these and get if you do it on the SDK get your bent ones there is straight ones as well which we've got here came in a pack but these are just easier I shall show you why because of the way the engine is positioned if you were to try and get the straight ones in there it would be a royal pain in the ass so it's just easier because they're bent you can keep your arm straight and the feeler gauge just pops in there like that so yeah that's that uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what, oh God, whether it needs doing or not, but 
Well, we I had a little, you, yeah, you had a little try earlier, didn't you? No, on, Phil, and they, the, the one, and it was one a bit felt tight. Very tight. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just do it step by step. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, see what happens, and then put it all back together and turn the key in. Hopefully, uh, a rod don't come through my bonnet. <laughs> It's even just Mate, you just completely blew what I said out the water now. I said, oh. if you don't feel 100% confident, don't do it. We're confident. We're fine. We're Any confident. Clearances. We're confident. Bloody on. fine, by all. So, you start with cylinder number one. This is obviously your exhaust side. This is obviously your air intake side. So, you've got intake manifold, exhaust manifold. So, you do those four valves first. And then we'll tell you which way to go for. As said before, make sure your thing is lined up, and that is your top dead centre. And the feeler gauges we are going to be using are. <laughs> I've made notes. Uh, the intake side, I'm using a 0 0.009. I don't even know if you can see that. 0 0.009, just about. And the exhaust manifold side, we're using a 0 0.011. And just in case we forgot, Ben actually wrote on his notes down here, a little drag. A little drag, that's all you need. When you're feeling, you want to put your feeler gauge in, the correct one that you want to use. Obviously all engines are different, have different recommendations, but this is the one that was recommended the most for this type of engine. And if, if, if you're struggling to move it around, then obviously it's too tight. If it's flopping about all over the place, then it's too loose. So you want it to just go in and with a little slight bit of drag. Queen. You're a bit of a drag queen, aren't you? Only on Saturdays. Oh, Saturdays. Saturday nights. Oh, so yeah, let's, let's get to it. Starting with cylinder number one. Saturday night, and I like the way you move. We'll give it a go. <laughs> well, you were just filming me, I suppose. Yeah, I guess so, man. And I'll, I'll just look at that, though. In the vice, look, full on light, boom. Ben's happy. As a pig. Happy as a pig in poo. Shh, poo. So yeah, the idea of this, Chris just stands in front of the light and then there's no point in having a light there. <laughs> so the point of this tool is this. That goes over the nut that adjusts the valve, <laughs> like so. Oh God. Like that. And then the screwdriver goes into the slotted bit at the top and then you're able to open and close the nut with this side and then adjust it with the screwdriver. So, first, I'll have a little feel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'll have a little feel, first. So we've got our point one one, which is for the exhaust side, which is this side. And then we put it in under here. I don't know if you'll be able to get in and see this, Chrissy. You know what that? But basically, the gap is underneath there. And then you want to get it in there, like so. Push it in, and there we go. And you can, that is very tight. Let's try the other side. Oh, can we get that back on in? Yeah, they're both too tight. Tight. So we want to loosen them a smidgen, basically. So we put this on. I see. Right. So you hold on to the screwdriver. Turn your handle and that loosens it off. And because we were, what did I say? We were too tight, too weren't we? Too tight, yes. Yeah. So you want to loosen them off. Loosen it off just a touch. Keeping the screwdriver in position. Tighten the nut back up. Job's a good one. Then, you take then have a little feel. Take your feeler gauge again. And I'd say a little bit more. Oh, I don't know, actually. Yeah, I'd say a little bit more, I reckon. <clears throat> and if I can come around this side. That might be a bit better, I can't see. Oh, it's not getting there, fucking hell. This thing's a bit of a pain in the ass. No, 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 yeah. Right, so we open it up again. Hey! And we are loosening, so we turn it a little bit more, tighten it back down, take it off, have another little feel, like so, this should be about right I reckon, ah see, 
See how much better that is. So there's a bit of resistance there. I might have even gone a bit far, I think. Yeah, I think we need to tighten them up. So maybe tiny little. So there's a little bit of resistance there. But I think. Maybe just tighten them up a little smidgen. A little bit more. So, have a feeling feel. Yeah, there's a bit of resistance there, but it's not loose and it's not too tight. So it's moving freely, but you can feel that there's resistance on the feeler. So that one is done. Then you do the same on the one next to it, obviously, because it's the same cylinder. Uh, and then you change to the opposite side on the intake side, which is a different size, which we'll do with the 0 0.009. And then we'll come back to you and show you how to go to the next cylinder and what cylinder. <laughs> right then, Bench, update. Right. Cylinder one is done. We've felt the crap out of it and it's beautiful, both sides. So now we move on to what cylinder can we see? Cylinder, cylinder three. three. So the order basically is cylinder one first, then three, then four, then two. So we'll move on to cylinder three. And to get cylinder three to top dead centre, we need to turn the crank at the bottom 180 degrees. But it's easier, I would say, to, because these are smaller, it's less degrees than the bigger pulley, obviously. So it works out to 90 degrees. So just keep an eye on your marks that are facing each other. And uh, <laughs> make sure that they've gone 90 degrees. And then your lobes should basically look like that. They pretty much point at like 2 o'clock intake side and 10 o'clock exhaust side. So we'll have a go at that. Yes. This is like technical shit, isn't it, mate? Very, yeah. Very. All right. You're going to have to keep an eye out, Chris, with If you, have you got your work light? Yeah, he's there, like that one. Oh, look, we've got a feeler gauge stuck to the bottom there. <laughs> so, I'll crank clockwise, which is that way. We're just using a like ratchet spanner because it's just easier to get in there. You don't have to take even more shit off. So, keep an eye on these, whichever one, obviously if it goes down, it's a bit harder to see. So, to keep an eye on the left one, I would see it moving up. And we want that pointing up at the sky, because then that will be 90 degrees. Oh, yeah, that compression. She's hissing at me. She's an angry girl. About there? Yeah. A little bit more, because the engine is tilted to the side slightly, isn't it? I'd say about there, I'd mate. I'd say about there. And then if you look at the lobes on cylinder three, if you remember, on cylinder one, they were pointing at two o'clock and ten o'clock. Now we've done 90 degrees there. These lobes are now also pointing the same. Two o'clock, ten o'clock. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you want it. <laughs> Lovely monocle there, Benj. Lovely monocle. A monocle, monocle. How do you spell it? Monocle. Monocle. It's not a molecule. That's like science shit. Uh, I said that. I don't know. I just said monocle. Molecule. Molecule. Molecule is the like atoms and molecules. Yeah. Monocle. A oh, monocle. Is is your your eye? A I thought about getting a monocle because there's only my right eye that's a bit dodgy. We were discussing glasses earlier, and I've got to wear them. And uh, I, was I said, can I just have a monocle? It's not very practical, Mr. Bowden, is it? I was like, alright, mate, chill out. Chill out, eye doctor. <laughs> Having camera difficulties, I mean. Right, a little bit. Cylinder freeze done. The exhaust side needed a very slight bit. One was fine, the other one needed opening a little bit. The intake side, both of them were exactly how they should be, which you will find, obviously. So, top left centre again for cylinder. Four, which is the one at the back of you want to do it exactly the same again you want to, you've got your marks there at the top 
So when I crank the bottom pulley, we want that to move another 90 degrees. So that mark there will then be pointing towards me. And those lobes at the back of cylinder four should be sat how these are there. It literally sounds like I know what I'm talking about, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, she's burning me again. There. There. Yeah. I reckon so. Yeah. It's a little bit further down. Fuck the weird with this one because it's the engine's not sat level, is it? It's tilting. Yeah, it's tilting, yeah. So uh but again, another way of telling that you have got that right if you want to adjust it slightly, is that your lobes are pointing at two o'clock and ten o'clock again, which they bloody ruddy are, so let's get Feeling some valves. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. Please, please feel for me, guys. He's just a fucking nutcase when it comes to this car. I just want to get this boring shit out of the way, mate, so we can start doing the good stuff. Oh, I got some money. <laughs> right, that was cylinder four done. Took the skin off my arm and I can't feel my thighs because I'm not used to this like bending over stuff. Don't say anything. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't say yeah. a word, mate. So now one cylinder left, number two. Do it again. Turn this here. 90 degrees. Well, that 180 degrees, obviously, but this will turn another 90 degrees. So on this one, because that one's going to disappear down there, I would probably keep an eye on that one. And we want that one pointing up to the sky, and that's another 90 degrees. There we are. There. There? Yeah. And what are we doing? Cylinder two. Cylinder two. And again. Two o'clock, ten o'clock. Hunky dory. And this is the last cylinder, and then we're done. And then we've got to put the whole bloody thing back together. Lovely jubbly. Yeah. We've only been doing it for, I'd say, half an hour. Yeah, it'll take long, mate. So I'd allow yourself, it's probably a good half an hour or so in it, 45 minutes, just to unplug everything. Yeah, get yeah. The, get the rocker cover off and all that, and then. Allow yourself half an hour to do them. We'll take as long as you bloody want. If you've got all day, take all day. Who cares? A lot of partridge coming up today, isn't there? Yes. Keep going into so. a lot of partridge. Jesus Christ, Lynn, it's hotter than the sun. Chris actually watched an episode, didn't you? I did, yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's funny. Right. Really funny. Very good, yeah. Right, what am I doing? Number two. Number two. Oh, yay, an easy one. It's right there, look. Sexual chocolate. Give it up for my band, sexual chocolate. Cool, that's a tight one. Oh, they're tight. Uh, well, they're tight, they're old buggers. But we f you found though, haven't you, that on the uh, exhaust side, a lot of them have been too tight, haven't they? Yes, yeah, they have. The intake enough. side hasn't been too bad. I think there's only... I wonder if that's because of this. Was it the cylinder four, wasn't it? You had to adjust, yeah, but yeah. the rest of them have been fine. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Yeah. It is a little the wee bit, lad. That's too tight, so you want to turn it. You hardly have to turn it at all as well, I've found. The more I've been doing them, obviously, the more of an idea you get of how much you need to turn it. Line your screwdriver up, that's the fucking hardest bit. There we go. Where am I going? Oh, we'll loosen it. Too tight. Bloody bugger angle. Bugger. There we go. Alright. We're going to have to die quickly. Loosen him. And I am literally turning it like. Like this. Like the tiniest bit, like a couple of millimetres. Because you, you know, if you do it too much, then it'll just be way too loose. So. Bit by bit, a little often. I'm out of breath, mate. How am I out of breath just by doing this? Fuck, fuck, that's why. 
I can't say anything about being a fat fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm getting good at this. Quite jammy, actually. You've, when you've done, you've been pretty good. First oh, still too tight. Ah, uh, see, spoke too soon. To do Spoke too soon. I'm glad you did. Amazing time lapse. <coughs> oh, too bad actually, was it? Put it back on to back. No, it's fine, mate. It's a piss. Just fire up, make sure <coughs> the leaks are nothing. Da, 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 da. Oh, my bloody leggies, Chris. I didn't really need to get in. I'm going to get back out again, man. <laughs> <laughs> Drum roll. Sorted! Sorty! Get over there, Chrissy. It's just because you're upset you've got a big crack in your windscreen. Shut up, mate. No insurance on it. I, I think I have. I, I haven't have. checked. Most I'm, I'm pretty do. sure I... Yeah. You will. It just depends what the excess is. Anyway, there we go. That was successful. Very pretty successful, mate. Yeah, pretty yeah. simple. Yeah. It's a bit fiddly, but it's, it's all right, isn't it? We found little ways that made it easier off camera. What, what, yeah, what I would have done is... <laughs> If there's one of you, obviously you've got no choice. You feel, you adjust, you feel again. But if you've got two of you, when we did the last couple of cylinders, yeah. you one holds the socket on and the screwdriver, the other one puts the feeler gauge in. You have a feel and the other one adjusts and you just keep feeling and we would have probably been done in 20 minutes. Probably. But yeah, you man. live and learn, Christoph. You, you live, live and learn. learn. So you live and learn. Another one in the bag. I'm sure we'll do Super another simple. video on doing that on <clears throat> mine at some point. Yeah, because I don't know. We'll come round to it. <clears throat> I think I've seen a video of people doing valve clearances on the FN2. Now we're like valve clearance experts. Sounds like the TCT is uh, tapping quite a bit. So that might need doing as well. So that might be another one. Annoying, but I'm sure I said in the history that it had been done over the last couple of years. Anyway, whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, thank really you very much, guys. It. It's amazing. All, new, all new subscribers, fantastic. Thank so you good. very much. Sponsors, you're does. amazing. He bloody loves it. We're doing all right. Good, we're, we're doing yeah, good. It's very good. good. Excited. And we are booking our first show, yes. the first car show of the season. We're doing a very local one in Exeter. July 8th. <clears throat> so if you fancy coming on the stand, we have a minimum of 10 cars. I think so far we've got seven, I think. So, and, uh, or six, six or seven. So we need a few more to be able to book it. Yes. So if you're interested and you're fairly local, come, come along and stand with us. It'll be brilliant. Yeah, be a so, good yeah. day. Be a good day. Hit subscribe if you're not. Drop us a comment down below. Tell us if you do your own valve clearances or whether you just pay someone else to do it or whatever. Because we love to hear from you all. Some people can't be asked to do it. We just no, like we do doing it. it. It's content. And uh, yeah. again, all I'm doing at the minute is mainly just maintenance, maintenance and servicing, getting all that up to scratch. Next one for the S2K is going to be delving into the boot situation to see how bad the rust is in the boot and then yeah. fixing and sorting that. Any other rust issues which don't look that bad to be honest. No. I had all the wheels off the other day and it looks good. And then it's uh, the good stuff. So yeah. The exciting stuff. Very, very exciting. Okay. So yeah, thank you all for watching. We love you all. We shall see you on the next, on the next video. video. Peace out. Bye bye. bye. Woo.